Hello everybody, I am Jared Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I'll be watching I Took a DNA Test by Penguin Zero. Some of you may also know him as Moist Critical, some of you may also know him as Charlie. He's a fairly well-known YouTuber. He's been around for years, I've watched his channel for years. He puts out all sorts of different content. Um, I, I like a lot of his content is, uh, the real series where he has products like infomercials and stuff and he dubs voices over it. It's, um, comedy stuff. But then he also has like, uh, um, I guess just kind of typical vlogging or streaming stuff that hits a lot of the stuff that I'm into. So yeah, he, he's done like chess stuff, stuff with Pokemon cards. But even though I've seen a good amount of his content, I don't know if he's ever mentioned being uh, Irish or French or, uh, and you know, Spanish or I, I don't, you know, I don't know what his ancestral background is. So I'm not quite sure what to expect other than, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to have a good amount of European. Um, but, you know, could be, could be a mix of anything. So not quite sure what to expect, but I imagine it'll be pretty interesting. It's a pretty short video. It's just three and a half minutes long. Um, so I'm sure he's just going to be pretty quick with it. Um, but it is from 2019. So his results may have updated from, uh, since then, depending on which test that he took. Um, but before we jump right into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But with all of the fun stuff said, let's go ahead and watch the video. Throughout the entire history of me being in school, I was always asked by my classmates and professors if I was Asian or part Asian. Then when I came on the internet and showed my face, immediately I was once again asked, am I part Asian? I guess I could see people asking that. I I don't know. I, I don't really, like, I wouldn't think that. But that's pretty, that's pretty interesting. I can kind of see it. I'm like, you know, like Pokimane, who uh, we, we watched her DNA results video and she was Moroccan. So, you know, she does kind of look Asian, but I don't know if Charlie really looks Asian. I guess kind of, kind of. Like if he was like mixed, like if his dad was Asian and his mom wasn't or something. And the answer I always gave is no. Because, you know, my parents aren't, their parents aren't, and they don't really know the history of our family or anything. For all my family knows about our past, we could very well be descendants of a celestial race that crash-landed on Earth in Roswell, New Mexico, that once communicated by clapping their ass cheeks together. No one in my family knows our history, and I thought, you know what, fuck it, let's take a DNA test. So I did a 23andMe to once and for all figure out, am I part Asian? And I, I haven't seen the results yet, but I'm going out on a limb and I'm going to say it's going to be something wacky. I'm going to get some, I'm thinking I'm going to get some wild results. It's going to say like 100% gamer, not even human. Yeah. Or maybe my spit just sucks shit and they couldn't even get any results off of it. I'll log on and it'll say, sir, please don't submit your dog's saliva. This is not a joke, but your dog's 100% husky. Yeah, you never know. So let's just get right the fuck in there. I was tempted to come in the vials. I didn't. It's my saliva. Let's see what my saliva says about where I come from. Yep, the grand reveal. It's pretty. It's pretty boring. Seventy-two percent right. European. Uh, nothing too off the wall about that. That's you know that seems about. I don't think that's boring. That's pretty interesting. I mean, yeah, it's just you know seventy-two point three percent European. I get that, but it's a pretty big mix of European. He's got 15.8% Spanish and Portuguese, which I should point out right off the top. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure this is 23 and me based on how the results look, but you know, he's 15.8% Iberian Spanish and Portuguese, which would equate to about a great grandparent who was uh, fully Iberian 11.7% Italian. And they have uh, places in Italy that, um, they're labeling, which probably you're coming from him having a lot of genetic matches. So we'll have to see if he talks about any of those. He's got part Greek, 18% broadly Southern European. So, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot in that Southern sort of European area, but a, a good mix of it. Iberian, Italian, Greek, Balkan, Northwestern European, so British and Irish. And then it's got County Dublin, uh, Mercy side. 
don't know if I said that right. Merseyside, maybe. I don't know. But uh, they're getting specific places in the British Isles. And then we've got that 1.5% French German, the Scandinavian, and then probably Northwestern European, which is all probably just fairly... Like, if you looked at his ancestry, you may not find any recent actually French and German ancestors. It's likely just kind of a mix in there for the uh, British and Irish. Then he's got half a percent of Ashkenazi Jewish and then 4% broadly European. So let's see, uh, does he show what's the other, what's the non 72.3%? Par for the course. However, in a crisp second place is East oh. Asia and Native American at 15%. And of that, 13% of it is Native American. Everything else is fucking zeros across the board looking like a Christmas tree to pop quiz in kinesiology. Okay, that's, that, that's pretty however, interesting. In We're going to go back a bit. Okay. So 15% East Asian Native American, 14.2% North Northern Asian Native American, and then 0.8% broadly East Asian. So more than likely, all of that 15% is probably actual um, Native American. So that would equate to a great grandparent, about a great grandparent who was fully Native American. Then you also have the Western Asian and North African, 4.6%. And then that's broken down a good bit. Western Asian, North African and Arabian, broadly Western Asian and North Africa. Um, so we're basically talking kind of like Middle Eastern sort of areas, um, which I, I actually had a comment recently where someone said the Middle East is not a thing. So kind of curious what people think about that. So, you know, comment down below. And then he's got the 1.8% sub-Saharan African. And, you know, with all of this together, I wouldn't be surprised if this is all possibly coming from one area in his family. So if you add up all of this, the 15%, the 4.6%, the 1.8%, it, you know, it's about 20%. So it could all just be coming from one grandparent of his. Um, and, you know, that I would assume that, grand, you know, he may be inheriting some European from that grandparent too. I could be wrong. This could be coming from more than just one grandparent. But, I mean, honestly, just looking at these DNA results, this is a, this would be a really interesting uh, family to research. So I don't know if Charlie will ever watch this video, but if you want a professional genealogist to research your ancestry, hit me up. I'm totally down. Um, so, yeah, let's see what else he's got to say. Because in kinesiology, uh, so I'm a little confused on what to make of this. I'm guessing it means Asian isn't huge, but Native American is, and they're part of the same category on 23andMe. I'm not sure. Either way, the silver medal is looking like a Christmas tree to pop quiz in kinesiology. Uh, so I'm a little confused on what to make of this. I'm guessing it means Asian isn't huge, but Native American is, and they're part of the same category on 23andMe. Yeah, so the reason why they're part of the same category, and they will be on pretty much all the tests, is because... Uh, Native Americans and Asians actually share a, I mean, I say a recent uh, ancestry, but they have. And so because they have a shared ancestry, they actually share a lot of DNA that makes it harder to distinguish, um, which if, for anyone who saw my video about the Native American DNA, pretty much everyone we saw had some form of Asian in there. Sub-Saharan African wasn't huge, but unlike the other ones, this actually has percentages near some locations, which is nice. The other ones just have fucking zeros and not detected all over the place. This one at least shows me some areas, which is good. And then unassigned. Obviously, it's unassigned because my saliva was too powerful for their puny human technology to really deduce. The genetic code hasn't even been discovered by humans yet, so they just had to leave it as an unknown variable. It probably means that, you know, thousands, millions of years ago, a reincarnation of me used to rule the world, kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh, how Yami Yugi was the pharaoh. So I had a Yami Charlie back in time, no doubt. So I'm 6.5% Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, fucking emperor of the earth. And that's kind of cool, I guess. So you put this all together, you got 10% luck, 20% skill, 70% European descent. Uh, kind of boring. But on a bright note, there's a big chunk of Irish in there, meaning Jack Septic I and I are even closer than we once thought. We're damn near <laughs> inseparable at the lips, to be honest. And this only really puts our love even further, which is great. That's good news. But overall, 
just underwhelming results. I'm a little disappointed. So to everyone who speculated I was part Asian, I guess you were kind of right. 15%'s not a huge amount, but it's definitely something. And uh, yeah, I mean, this was eye-opening. I can't wait to share it with my parents so they can wipe their ass with that information because they genuinely don't give a shit about it. But for now, it's cool little fun fact Jeopardy trivia uh, information to have. Uh, I think it is kind of cool to know where you come from. I wish they would tell me stories, like break it down. Like I wish they could trace the DNA back to like a specific person. Like in 1845, your relative John I can Buzzsaw do that. Said to have I can do that. Dicks in all of Eastern Ireland. You know, something like that. I don't know if I could prove that specifically, <laughs> but I could definitely look into your ancestry and figure out what were your ancestors doing in the 1800s. 1800s for someone of your mostly European ancestry, probably not going to be a problem in figuring that out. There's probably a pretty decent paper trail for that. So that's actually something that can be done. And give me like the lore. That'd be a cool breakdown, but obviously I know it's impossible. It's not. But yeah, anyway, that's it. See ya. All right. All right. First off, I think I get a lot of comments from previous videos where people have said, oh, basic white guy, basic European. Oh, I'm 100% European. Oh, I'm mostly European. The European isn't necessarily that boring. It's still pretty interesting. I mean, Europe is friggin' huge. It has a whole lot of different countries and, you know, all these countries have very different ancestral backgrounds. I mean, they, they have similar backgrounds once you get back far enough. But Charlie's results were actually really interesting. And I think from, from a genealogical standpoint, that would be a really interesting family tree to look into. I don't know if he would ever actually be interested in having a genealogist do that, especially one like me who wants to do a video about it. But like, honestly, that would be pretty interesting looking and figuring out where is that Native American coming from? Where is that African coming from, that West Asian? Is it coming from one grandparent? And then what about the, you know, his ancestry he had the uh, Southern European with the mix of the Iberian, the mix of Italian, Greek, and Balkan. Then he did have the British and Irish, which I think when people think of like boring white European, British and Irish are like the like typical. So maybe this video will get to Charlie. And if so, hit me up, man. I'm totally down to do your family tree. I will figure out what was your great, great grandfather doing in the 1800s? And maybe I'll be able to even figure out 1700s and 1600s. It's very possible. And the other cool thing is because Charlie's actually done the DNA test, if I do his family tree for him, I can use the DNA in his genetic matches to help me expand that tree. So I may be able to figure out a whole lot of stuff using the DNA that he didn't even realize you could do with DNA because a lot of people don't think that, you know, he even said it, you know, Oh, I don't think it'll tell me what, you know, so-and-so was saying in 1840. I won't do exactly what he said because my audience isn't quite exactly like his audience, but it actually is something that can be done. And I've done it for a whole bunch of people, not to even mention the fact that I actually use this to help adoptees find their family and solve crimes too. So this DNA is powerful. It's just in the genetic matches, not so much in the admix but when you get admixtures like Charlie's and he wasn't expecting any Native American or anything like that, he, he said he didn't know of any Asian. Um, Native American isn't exactly Asian, but if he didn't know about any of that, that's what the joy of the admixture is in showing you things that you aren't quite sure of. So then when you go and do the genealogy research, if I, if I did his genealogy research and I started to see some sort of connection to Native American, then the DNA is basically saying, yeah, that's very likely because he does have 14.6% or whatever it was Native American. So I, I really do hope this video gets to Charlie. Uh, it, share, tag him, um, because I would, I would friggin' love to do his family tree and tell him what his ancestors were doing in the 1800s and the 1700s and the actual stories and the lore of the family. So maybe I could even figure out uh, where that Yu-Gi-Oh! ancestry comes from. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe. You can click here and it's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.